Good morning, campers. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're going to get in the air here real quick. You might notice we are in a completely different airplane. That's right, we've rented a caravan because we got an excellent job. So almost $9,000 to go to the middle of Montana. Uh, so we're renting this plane, which is 640 an hour, but should only be like a four-hour flight at the longest. So we've put a bunch of fuel in it. Uh, got it rented. We rented it dry, so we'll just be paying for however much fuel we use, because I did the math, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be cheaper. And, yeah, we're not anywhere close to being full. It's a nice, long flight. We've got our... Oh, uh, my flight plan's not actually up on this. That's fine. That's fine. Let's just go ahead and get the plane started. You'll see the flight plan on that. So let's get fuel selectors open power lever to idle rpm to max got it starting engine battery switch on beacon uh, i've got a button for that on avionics number one Pause system on. test. Okay. Fuel boost. On. Starter. On. Fuel condition lever to low idle. <laughs> low idle. Oh, idle's 50, I believe. There we go. This would be much easier with an actual like throttle quadrant, but close enough. Fuel boost can be put to norm, and we can turn on avionics number two. Excellent. All right, so let's take a look at our flight plan here. You can hide for a moment. Make sure this has everything. Yes, excellent. So we're going to cut through the uh, Class Bravo flight plan. Cursor. So yeah, we're going to cut through the Class Bravo. And uh, then follow this... Um, Toggle the selection cursor again. Dude. That's the one I wanted. Alright, take. Let's go up. Now let's go right. See, so yeah, we're gonna cut through the class Bravo for Las Vegas, pick up this airway, and then we'll be heading north through mostly western Utah. Um We'll, we'll be going right over a city called Delta, which is one I've done a delivery to uh, fairly recently. It's actually, I think, in my uh in my trucking videos if you go back and check that out but that'll also take us over the great salt lake which will be fun and then up to mallard city pocatello du bois and then finally to dillon and then our approach will change depending on what the uh atis at dillon is but we'll either be landing on 35 or 17 and both of those uh will be deciding from um we can decide either of those from over Dillon. So that will be fine. Though there's there's an approach that starts at, at Wemco and then sets you up nicely for a 35 landing, but we'll see what's uh, what the situation is when we get, when we get there. More likely we'll be doing uh, runway 17. Uh, so, you know, which uh, if we're doing 17, we can just do a VOR DME approach, which will also be totally doable. So we're gonna mostly be using the GPS for this. Um, but, uh, yeah, should be fun. And then zoom back in. Uh, actually, we really don't need to be zoomed very far. Let's go ahead and close the flight plan. Boop, over to here. So we want our CDI on GPS, perfect. Uh, we don't have an air traffic controller on at the moment, so we are going to just be treating this as uncontrolled. 
which this airport is uncontrolled anyway, but we're, we are flying IFR on this one, so <sighs> could be interesting. For takeoff parking brake, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, that's all, all fine. Calvada traffic, caravan 5518 tree is taking off runway 33 for east departure. Calvada traffic. All right. Don't redline, don't redline. All right, there we go. Release. That should be enough to get us off the ground. Should be more than enough. All right, airspeed indicators going. There's 60. I knew what I forgot. Aborting takeoff, aborting takeoff. Calvada traffic, caravan 55183 is aborting takeoff. Calvada traffic. Calvada traffic, caravan 55183 is clear of the runway. Calvada traffic. Okay, so. Landing lights off again. <laughs> I forgot to start the flight in, uh, in FS economy. So action, start flight. Flight, rental time left four hours, got it. I also forgot to hit mode C on, um, I forgot to hit mode C on our V pilot transponder because that doesn't, that doesn't detect your uh, transponder mode change in Microsoft Flight Simulator yet. So alt tab, we are good there. Mode C. That is, I think, LA Center. Doesn't tell me. Oh, also, I wasn't on the right frequency for any of that, so we're going to... <laughs> Boy, I'm just doing horrible today. One, two, two. Eight. Transfer. There we are. Now I can hear other folks. That should do. All right, let's get our strobe light on. Landing lights on. Already on that. PFD, I want wind three back, and I want bearing one on my next waypoint at all times. Back. Excellent, that will be helpful in a bit. Okay. Calvada traffic, caravan 55183 is taking off runway 33, departure to the east. Calvada traffic. All right, so other people probably actually heard that one. There's plenty of folks over at Las Vegas. Get our takeoff power set right where we want it. Double check our, yep, okay, release.
At least I realized before I ran out of runway that I needed to abort the takeoff and actually pick up my passengers. Airspeed indicators alive. Rotate. Trim for climb. There we go. There we go. So we've got a lot of climbing to do before we go over that mountain. Let's retract our notch of flaps. Keep the nose up, please. Keep the nose up, please. All right, one sec. Need to set our vertical speed. Let's go ahead and get our yaw damper on. Yaw damper doesn't work yet. Autopilot on. All right. So once we are for sure over these mountains, then we'll turn. We'll turn right. And that should be 12,500 feet, I want to say, is the tallest of these peaks. So we're going to keep climbing for a bit. Probably just go around them for the most part. <laughs> Which is absolutely fine. Don't mind that at all. Don't mind that at all. Mm. I just gotta make sure not to record too terrible much because I don't know how much hard drive space I have left on this computer at the moment from recording earlier. At least we have an absolutely lovely sunset going here. <laughs> Los Angeles Center, Cessna, November 551830 miles north of November Victor 54 request IFR to Kilo Delta Lima, November ready to copy. Cessna, November 551830 is cleared to Kilo Delta Lima, November airport as filed. Squawk 0005. Ooh, I don't want to... I don't want to change my squawk. Ah, rats. Dang it, I forgot about that. Alright, well, we'll just turn them off. Oops. Alright, forget we said anything. <laughs> Alright, we are above 10,000. Let's get the landing lights and the taxi light off. Go ahead and get the cabin lights on, and we'll give 12 volt power to the passengers. And we'll leave the uh, we'll leave the seatbelt the seatbelt light on for the moment. So we are aiming for our first waypoint rather than aiming for the uh, path that we filed or the uh, direct path from the airport to that waypoint. Because that waypoint's where we enter our first airway, so that's the spot that's actually important. And we're already above the Class Bravo airspace for Las Vegas, so all we have to worry about is staying out of the restricted airspace to our north. Now let's, in fact, go ahead and zoom this in a tiny bit. Yeah, we're actually going to turn a little bit more to the right.
there. So now we should intercept our course above the class Bravo as well. Because we just need to stay out of this <laughs> restricted airspace. Alright, so I will... Uh, actually, first off, let's just take a look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I like that point of view. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. That was gorgeous. It's a good game. It's just such a good game. <sighs> but yeah, let's pop outside. There we go. Let's take a look at Las Vegas. Let's uh, pop back in and nose down. Ooh, easy plane. <laughs> Good thing you can hear that from outside. <laughs> Do we have flight level change on this uh, particular autopilot? Oh, we do. So let's just uh, hit a flight level change and then turn the autopilot back on. Plane, 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 plane. Why are you pitching back for a flight level change? Re-engage uh, vertical speed mode, please. Okay. That was interesting. Five hundred feet per minute ought to be fine. Whew. All right, well, that was exciting for a moment. <laughs> anyway, let's appreciate Las Vegas in the distance. And I will see you all in uh, the next part of the video as we uh, approach Dillon and come into land. <laughs> Be nice and dark, so don't expect too much. Probably just bring you a like, final approach as we land and see how much money we actually made off this job. Welcome back, folks. We are 20 minutes from our destination. Uh, running a little low on fuel. Got enough. Barely. Uh, also running low on time. We have exactly 35 minutes, uh, sorry, 36 minutes to get this plane on the ground. We also have an air traffic controller now. I was talking to other people at the moment. I don't think you can hear them. And uh, just to make matters even more interesting, we don't have any of the RNAV approaches for this airport, so we're doing it the old-fashioned way with the VOR. So we've got the VOR set up already. Uh, we're going to have to change it to a different uh, different course here in a bit. But uh, hopefully this one is more accurate than the last VOR we used. <laughs> Should be interesting. We're also going to need to request a descent here shortly. But uh, not too worried. So our descent... We're currently down here flying in. Uh, our descent is going to be, uh, so we're gonna start here at the VOR and uh, we can be above 9,600. We have to remain within 10 nautical miles of the VOR. So we're going to cross the VOR DME at probably about 11,000, maybe 11,500 and uh, Outbound on 005, descend to 9600. Do this lovely procedure turn before we get to the 10 nautical mile limit and then descend to 8100 and uh, hope we can see the runway at that point. <laughs> because uh, if you might notice, we don't come in anywhere near the runway. We're landing on 17 and we're coming in towards this on this arrow. <laughs> so, yeah, 
that's we really need and it's at 5245 feet we're going to be at 8100 feet on the way in so really need to, uh, a decent amount of a visual or we're going to be end up circling and uh, of course if we take more than 15 minutes to get on the ground we run out of fuel <laughs> which is maybe closer than I should have let it get but it's fine We'll be fine. They've got an unlimited supply of Jet A at that airport in FS Economy, so the uh, plane will be just fine. Three zero two nine er will advise when I have the weather. Uh, requesting VOR Alpha approach. Okay. Uh, Unfortunately, we're not getting anything on the uh, ASOS frequency. That's awkward. Uh, we can get it from this. Uh, let's refresh this page just to make sure we've got the most up-to-date weather. E029. Six minutes ago. Fantastic. And then we just need to make sure we still got UR Alpha. Just waiting for a gap to uh, Salt Lake Center, Caravan five five one eight three has the weather for Dylan. Three nautical miles out. <laughs> 14 minutes. We'll be on the ground before we run out of fuel this time. Uh, and that was with me putting what I thought would be like an extra hour of fuel on this thing. I guess everything in flights in this version of flights and burns fuel faster than than uh, FS economy expects it to, which interesting interesting so dylan's actually an interesting place we've been there that's interstate 15 below us so i've actually been to this uh this airport in real life not to the airport but i parked near it because <laughs> there's a nice little rest area right there at dylan so I parked fairly close to it all right we are going to get the heading Bug on 345. There we go. And now we need to turn this to one eight five. Okay. All right, I think I'm as ready as I'm going to get for this.
clear direct Dillon VOR, cross Dillon at or above 12000, cleared VOR Alpha approach for Dillon Airport. November 55183. Copy, 55183. descent. <sighs> uh, we were given orders to report our procedure turn inbound there. Big Dipper out in front of us, a creepy moon off to the right. I am so ready for this. All right, there is 12,000. No, no, we're not there yet. Still descending. That's fine. We're not there yet. Why am I nervous? I've done stuff like this a million times. Just I have an air traffic controller this time. That's the only difference. <laughs> now remember, our DME that we're watching is this one. Is the one that matters. Turn a notch of flaps. Let the autopilot handle it. Whew, this is going to be a tight one. 
All right, yeah, the more we can slow down here, the better. Lights, taxi lights, 12 volt outlets off. Procedure turn. Four zero. Salt Lake Center, Caravan 5518 Tree, inbound on procedure turn. cancellation of IFR on this frequency frequency change no. caravan five five one eight three Salt Lake Center, Caravan 55183, request cancellation IFR. Squawk VFR, frequency change, Caravan 55183, thank you. Still in traffic, Caravan 55183 is on six mile, six mile final for runway 17, full stop. Alright. 
Just follow I-15 in. There's our minimum. Got 10 minutes to get it on the ground. Oh, this is fine. Oh, I'm low on fuel, right. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. Let's actually get everything set the way I need it to be. So yeah, I, I forgot to switch over to the, the other nav source for the uh, procedure turn. I hit When I hit nav, we started turning back along the outbound radial. So I just canceled my uh, autopilot and made the turn myself. And then we had the runway in sight, so I was able to just go ahead and cancel the IFR. And it's fine. So we're still too high, so we're going to bring our throttle back even more. Close the timer ref page. There we go. Still in traffic, Caravan 55183 is on four mile final for runway 17, full stop. So we're just like immediately gonna pull off of the runway and hit the parking brake to, uh, to end the, uh, and the flight for SF FS economy. We are at full flaps. We are at high idle on our condition lever, which is the uh, the red the red lever in a turboprop. We are at full RPM, and we're just managing our altitude with the throttle. And our speed with the pitch, we're still coming in a bit high. That's fine. That's fine. It's all good. There we go. Five hundred. Five hundred feet. A little right, of course. A little high. On glide slope, on course. A little low, on course. Throttle out. Beta. Brakes. And reverser. Dillon traffic caravan 55813 is clear of the runway. Stop. Parking brake. City result. Flight is logged. Oh. <laughs> That was a little closer than I meant it to be. Ah. Aircraft is no longer rented. That means we got paid. Uh, let's just, uh, we are no longer in FS economy, so I can just boop a little bit of extra fuel into this thing for the taxi. <laughs> ah. Let's clean up 
the aircraft. So we can uh, turn the... I should have had the cabin lights off, honestly. All right, so landing lights off, strobe light off. Transponder, standby, Alt-Tab to V-Pilot, turn off mode C. Let's get the initial separator open now that we're on the ground. I should have done that before I landed, but it's fine. Uh, and we're going to go to 50% low idle on the condition lever. And we're going to retract our flaps. And turn off the flight director. And let's just get a look at this airport, because I'll be totally honest, I haven't looked at a satellite view of this airport to see where I'm supposed to where I'm supposed to uh, go parking here. Uh, looks like there's parking directly in front of me. Perfect. <laughs> there's the fuel box. Oh, perfect. There's our uh, there's our pushback guy, which means our parking spot should be right there. That'll work for me. All right. So lights off. Nav lights off. Lights off. Let's set our parking brake again. There we go. I can light off that. Go ahead and turn the cabin lights off. Actually, we'll leave the cabin lights on for a minute. All right, let's make sure our fuel boost is off. And then we're going to put the prop to feather and condition to cut off. And there's the prop stopping. Perfect. Beacon off. Avionics off. Let's get a nice shot of the outside of the plane. Oof. Ah, there we go. Not bad, F-12. <laughs> All right, and back inside. That'll do it for me. Battery off, and let's call this a night. No out-of-body experience, okay. Good to know. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Elio Dare. You can find me on the internet at Elio Dare on Xbox Live, Steam, Nintendo Switch, uh, Twitter. Twitter's the best place to get a hold of me. I check it all the time. Or you can come say hi in the comments below because I'm still a tiny channel. I still read all the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.